Today, we are going to learn how to add with multiples of 10, or numbers that end in zero. You can see here that 10 ends in a zero. When a number ends in a zero, it's easy to add. Let me show you why. First thing we're gonna do is read the equation, 30 plus 10. I'm gonna take and draw 10 sticks. I'm gonna draw a place value model. I have 110, it's 10, 20, 30. I have 10 and I know I need to add one more 10. So if I add one more 10, it's easy to see that that is going to be 40. If I look back at the equation and I look at the numbers instead of the place value, I notice that three plus one equals four. And the zero plus zero equals zero is what's in my ones place. My ones place has zeros. I have zero ones. I'm adding zero ones. And so of course I end up with zero ones. Let's look at another problem. This one is 30 plus 40. I'm going to try it first with the place value model. I have 30 10, or three tens, which makes 30. One ten is 10, two tens is 20, three tens is 30. And I need to add 40, or four more tens. So I'm going to start adding my 10 sticks. There's 10, 20, 30, 40. Now I could add them all up. I have three tens here, and then I'm going to count on 40, 50, 60, 70. I'm counting by tens because these are 10 sticks. So my answer is 70. But again, I'm going to go back and look at the numbers and see if there's an easier way to solve. I see 3 plus 4. I have three tens plus four tens equals seven tens. I'm gonna go back and look at the ones place. I didn't have any ones in my place value model here, and I didn't have any ones in my place value model here. Zero ones plus zero ones equals zero ones. Now you know how to add when two numbers end in zero, you can just carry the zero over because you're not adding, this is the add symbol, we're not adding any more ones. The only thing we're adding are tens. We're only adding four tens.